It is a night of tears and prayers in Sutherland Springs, Texas. A gunman opened fire in the small town's first Baptist church, killing at least 26 people. It's the deadliest mass shooting in the history of Texas. Courtney Zabowski has that story. Between 40 and 50 people were attending Sunday services at the First Baptist Church of Sutherland Springs. At about 11.15 a.m., witnesses say a single man with a gun walked in and opened fire on the congregation. He's a young, white male, maybe in his early 20s. He was dressed in, uh, in, in all black. Some four dozen people were wounded, more than half of them fatally. At least at this moment in time, there are 26 lives that have been lost. The gunman fled the scene in a vehicle pursued by a private citizen armed with a rifle. After driving north for some time, the suspect's SUV left the road and came to a halt in a field. Police arrived to find the man dead inside it. At this time, we don't know if it was a self-inflicted gunshot wound or if he was shot by our local resident. The suspect was later identified as 26-year-old Devin Patrick Kelly. Investigators say they have no idea what may have prompted this rampage. If you came here wanting to know the motive behind this shooting, you're going to leave here disappointed. The incident prompted a massive response from local, state, and even federal law enforcement agencies. The FBI and the Department of Homeland Security are among those who've joined the investigation. Sutherland Springs is about 35 miles east of San Antonio. On Sunday, one person described it as the kind of place where everybody knows everybody including the people who were killed. Courtney Zabowski for CBS News, Sutherland Springs, Texas.